I'm Heidi Alexander, I'm the Member of Parliament for Lewisham East and I'm really, really pleased to be nominating the Whitefoot and Downham Community Food Plus Project for the Paul Goggins Memorial Award. About a year ago, this food bank and advice and support project was set up by local people at local churches, local representatives in the community to actually try and tackle the severe problems of hardship and deprivation that exist locally in the community. This is a part of South East London where there are lots of problems and actually this place um, held at the Whitefoot Lane Christian Centre on a weekly basis provides a real refuge for people to come, um, get some food, get some support and advice and help with the problems that they're experiencing in their life. Um, it's been running for the last year, they've recently set up a job club, it's just a fantastic local community-led project that is making a real, real difference to people's lives. Um, hopefully this short video will just give you a short insight into what the project does and what it means to local people. So what sort of support did the project give to you to start off with and how did you feel when you first came down here? When I, f I felt that um, it was, I was above this, I didn't have any way of um, giving sort of thing I was just taking and they helped me with food and financial and any anything else that I, I needed as well. Actually I came here through my friend because I didn't have no money to buy any food but she introduced me to this project and the welcoming and everything that they've done for me since I, it just touched my heart that's why I became a volunteer. The idea of volunteering has always appealed to me. It hasn't always been the opportunity for me to be able to get involved, but when I heard about this through my local church, they were looking for volunteers. I wasn't sure exactly what to expect until I came along, but actually coming here and seeing what they wanted to do, what their vision was for the future, and what they were able to provide for these people that were less fortunate than myself, you know, I re it really appealed to me. For me, it's, it just, yeah, it's, it's what people should be doing. Um, we should be helping one another, um, we shouldn't just be kind of isolated and, and kind of just thinking oh well I'm okay, um, forget about my neighbour and I kind of think actually for me it's, it's, it's what, what life should be like, we should be helping one another not just uh, thinking hey I'll just look after myself. What I like, actually what I love about the project is that it's about building communities and it's about strengthening communities and it's about a togetherness and what I see about the project is that people are getting to know each other, they love being around each other, they come early, I have visitors that want to become volunteers and it's just a real buzz of people feeling like they're part of something and I can genuinely say they're happy. I think one thing that probably is really great about this project that I like about it particularly is that it actually helps to seek people, change their lives. It's not just about giving them food, but giving them a sense of purpose and direction, helping them to sort out their housing, helping them to live on a budget, as well as give them a, a sense of esteem. I got involved um, with the project to complete my Duke of Edinburgh award, but I decided to um, carry on after the time that I was meant to do because I thought that um, I was making a difference. Uh, right now, I kind of look forward to the project every week. Like when it's Monday, we kind of look forward to it every week, and it kind of it means it means something to us. Like when we first started, I'm not gonna lie, we were doing it for the CV, but now that we've like been here for like almost a year now, it kind of it's meant a lot more than just for the CV because like at the end of the day, when we open the door for people to go out, they the smile they give us in their faces and and how they feel happy just makes me feel good in it inside. I really love coming here on a Thursday night. Um, it started off as just a sort of a two hour session but I enjoyed so much meeting the volunteers, having a laugh, having a great time and then become now I'm becoming part of the team. I enjoy meeting with the, the clients, the visitors who some people are amazing people who are struggling against all the odds to try and make things work. I love the fact that you've got so many different people from different organisations and different churches working together because I think we've come to realise that there's so many more people who are passionate about helping people and we have a sense of how much more we can do than we realised. It's a place where they can come to and where we can also meet with them and we're all actually on a level.
I think it's a really groundbreaking project and it goes a long way towards connecting up different services in the voluntary sector, uh, local government, local politicians, where need really is. Uh, it's a model really for of practice uh, throughout the whole country, for the whole country. I just think it's, it's a really good thing, you know, you see so many people in need and, and people without and here they can come and uh, know that they can find a welcome and uh, that they can also be helped with food as well, which is very important for them. The Whitefoot and Downham Community Food Plus project is just a really fantastic example of what the community can achieve. Um, when they come together, they've identified a problem and they've said that they themselves can come up with a solution. I do think it's a shame that in the 21st century people need help with basic things such as having enough food in the house to eat. And I think it's also a real shame that people can't access the advice and support that they often need. But here in this part of South East London, the Food Plus project has made such a fantastic difference. I know that they're going to go from strength to strength over the coming years. And I really, really hope that they're going to be the winner of the All-Party Parliamentary Group Poverty Award in memory of Paul Goggins.